Hey guys, design team member Kate Kennedy here to bring you a tutorial video on how to make these really fun shaker cards. So this was the first one that I made using a very girly color palette and I'm going to make a second one here on video using a more masculine color palette. So this is the set of dies I'm going to use today. I'm just going to use the flamingo and the little party hat. And I'm going to first figure out my placement. So I have my card front cut down to four inches by five and a quarter. And I'm going to position the flamingo die with the little party hat on top and also my sentiment just to make sure that I put it in the right place because once I cut it, then that's where it's going to be. You know, so I want to make sure that I have enough room for everything. I'm sorry if you hear some background noise. We have a little eight week old golden retriever puppy and she is rambunctious so she is running in and out and if I close my door then she cries so I'm really sorry about that here's what the little flamingo looks like all cut out it cuts perfectly I'm using 110 pound cardstock just so that you know and I'm going to punch that out and then I'm going to place the little party hat die overlapping the top of the flamingo's head so that way it all becomes one piece and there's no separation so that the shaker element of it is one solid cut out image. So once I've popped that out, you can see there how that looks. So the next thing to do is to place some foam behind the flamingo. So what I did was die cut the same thing out of a piece of fun foam and I'm going to cut around it to give it some more, more room for the sequins to move because the flamingo die is not very big and I want to make sure that the sequins have enough room to shake. So I'm going to apply some adhesive to the back of the foam and I'm going to stick it down to another piece of cardstock that is cut slightly smaller than the card front. So I'm going to stick that down and then what I'm going to do is put all of the little sequins into that opening that I've made in the foam and then I'm going to glue a piece of clear acetate to the back of the card front and then adhere that to the foam. And that's going to make our kind of shaker sandwich, if you will. So I'm going to use some multi-matte medium. I love this adhesive. It's great because it dries clear, not shiny, so you can't see it. And it's really good to, to apply with a paintbrush to get into these little intricate areas of this flamingo dye because there are some very thin little places. So I'm going to do that and then use just my regular roller adhesive for the rest of it and then apply this piece of clear acetate. It's from Teresa Collins, I believe. It's like, it comes in 12 by 12 and I just cut it down. And then I'm going to put some adhesive on the back of this and then stick that to the base that has our confetti and foam and everything. Now, I should have stamped the greeting on the card front before I did this. Luckily, I used that foam that's solid, so it gave a nice base to stamp the sentiment. But I could have run into problems if I if it didn't if I didn't have a smooth surface to work on. So I'm just going to adhere all of this to a little panel of um, pattern paper. This is from Lawn Fawn, and then I'm going to add some sequins on the front just to give it a little something extra. So I'm just going to place those around and then glue those down with the. Ranger multi matte medium as well. And I did the same thing on the pink card, so I just wanted to have, you know, consistency between the two. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to fold and score my card base, which is going to be an orange cardstock. I can't remember where it's from. Maybe from Paper Trading. I think it's orange zest from Paper Trading. And that's going to finish up this card. So these shaker cards are really fun and versatile, and you can, you know, make them masculine, make them feminine however you want by changing up the colors and I love a new way to or a different way to use an image die instead of just having a shaker card that's like a circle or something to have it be a little birthday flamingo so thank you guys so much for watching and please check out the top dog dies website and all of their fun products thanks again and I'll see you guys real soon bye